Good evening. I'm Rick Kwan. And I'm Marissa Yamane in for Mika Miyashima. Oahu is now one step closer to banning short-term rentals in most residential areas. Bill 41 now heads to Mayor Rick Blangiardi's desk after the Honolulu City Council passed it earlier this evening. Now keep in mind the mayor requested this bill be introduced. And there was passionate testimony today at Honolulu Hale on both sides of the issue. The bill would up the minimum length of stay for a short-term rental from the current 30 days to three months in an effort to help crack down on illegal vacation rentals. The bill also limits vacation rentals to mostly the resort districts of Waikiki, Ko'olina and the Turtle Bay area on the North Shore. Today's final vote was 8 to 1 with only Councilmember Andrea Tupola casting a no vote. She represents the area from Eva out to the Waianae Coast. So what does this mean and what effect will it have once the bill is signed into law? KITV4's Jeremy Lee has more on that. Jeremy. Marissa and Rick, Bill 41 is a move designed to keep short-term rentals on Oahu out of residential neighborhoods. Those in favor of it argue that the availability of long-term rentals are suffering and a crackdown on enforcement will free up housing opportunities, all in the best interest of communities. Will it work? It's a big victory because this allows us now to rein in illegal vacation rentals and set the parameters by which the law will be enforced. What will those enforced parameters be? Honolulu's former mayor, Mufi Hanneman, says that will come down to the Department of Planning and Permitting. There should not be any more excuses uh, coming out from uh, DPP. The Hawaii Tourism Authority joined those applauding the new legislation that would limit Oahu short-term rental stays to at least three months. Illegal vacation rentals negatively impact the quality of life of our residents by taking potential residential rental properties off the market, increasing traffic in neighborhoods, and by placing additional burdens on infrastructure and facilities, HTA said, supporting the Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association's characterization that this bill was driven uh, not so much from the industry itself, but from local residents who are complaining. But without this helping us to make ends meet, in testimony, others told the council they see it very differently. Bill 41 will take money from the local residents and give it to the hotels. And we're very upset to see that the bill draws a line through our neighborhood. So one person on one side of the street can continue to do 30-day rentals, while another person on the other side of the street cannot. The World Surf League began its case for exemption given the personnel needed to put on events on the North Shore. It's impossible for any traveling surfer or event worker to spend 90 days on Oahu. Our surf event holding periods are at most 13 consecutive days. Expedia, the parent company of vacation rental site VRBO, announced their displeasure. We are disappointed to see the council move forward with policy that will prevent responsible vacation rental operations from supporting Honolulu residents and local small businesses. Bill 41 is a step backwards, overlooking more than a year of community engagement, the company said. More than 100 people offered to testify on the bill. As the bill was introduced by the office of the mayor, its signing is anticipated. Mayor Blangiardi has 10 days to sign the bill, though the office of the mayor tells KITV that bill could be signed before or on the 10th day. Reporting live, Jeremy Lee, KITV 4 Island News tonight.